Good morning all. Fixing breakfast here. Uh, we got company this morning. Got a granddaughter here. She's running around. She's in the bedroom watching cartoons right now, I think. Fun stuff. So far this morning I've done dishes and I'm getting ready to cook breakfast. I'll probably go mow later. I want to take my lawnmower back down to the farm and mow uh, again, even if it is a holiday. Because the grass is getting knee high and uh, Apparently, I'm never going to get my bush hog going because you just can't find a wheel that'll fit my bush hog since my wheel got stolen. Took the wheel off, go get a new tire. It's turned into a nightmare. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, grass been growing for three weeks. It's knee high. It's time to bale it. Which would be nice if I was planning to bale hay, but I'm not. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm doing today. Uh, there's not going to be a Saturday video. Uh, I pulled the uh, memory card out of my GoPro. I stuck it into my Canon camera. And even though the directory structure is the same and it looks like everything ought to work, apparently when you put a GoPro uh, formatted uh, card in a Canon camera, stuff don't work. It's all gone. Bye. <sighs> Irritating. I'm sounding like I have an irritating morning. I'm having a wonderful morning. I'm cooking breakfast. I got a little girl in the house running around, uh, smiling, jumping, bouncing. Fun stuff. We'll take a picture of Pat, Pat, Pat Belly. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> so I got a question. Be careful with that. That's a very expensive camera. Hush, hush, hush. You get carried. Honey, please. <laughs> Land it. I don't care if you sit there and smile and take your picture, but don't. Move it. So I got a question. What? If I get chickens in a couple weeks, you gonna help me take care of my chickens? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's good. Cause I'm getting chickens in a couple weeks. Little <laughs> baby, baby chicks. And put you to work. Get you over to farm. Thank you. Take care of my chickens. Okay. <laughs> This is what I walk through. I have to make sure I'm not in my underwear when I walk through the kitchen. Because it's in the kitchen in the morning. It's everywhere. Yes, it does that! here. Yes, it Goodbye, hug, say, oh, oh, oh. And she ducks. Woo! Okay, well, <laughs> that excitement's over for the, for the weekend. Uh, little girl's been with us for two days. Enjoyed the heck out of her, uh, really did. But Jadis and my wife just went to take her home because she has homework to do and she needs to have it done before tomorrow. <sighs> Moment of peace. But I turned this thing on, not so much to say, talk about that, but I just heard this great piece of wisdom from the weatherman on TV. It's 88 degrees right now. Heat index is like 97. Uh, I'm getting ready to run to the or go out and mow grass uh, at the farm after I do some dishes. Yay. Here's what the great weatherman's great wisdom for the day was. As long as it stays 90 degrees, it's going to continue to be hot. Okay, well, I just finished mowing what I call the back 40. Um, everything that way belongs to my neighbor. Everything that way is mine uh, this is uh, I don't know probably between half three quarters of an acre back here 
Got a tree line down there, starts down the hill. One of the things that I'm hoping to get started on this winter is because uh, I'm going to fence straight down my property line here, which goes right to the edge of those woods uh, back there. And there's no way to get around it. If I put a fence there, I either have to put in gates and go on my neighbor's property, or I have to build a road down through the woods, which that's a lot of work, but I uh, want to do that. I uh, don't want to have to be on the neighbor's property. Plus, I plan to get uh, some of that down in that way. Here, let's go down that way. Some of this down in here, and yes, I just went down that far. <laughs> some of that down over in there is uh, good. would be good for livestock. Uh, get them down in there and let them clear that out. I'm telling you, a few sheep, a couple cows, clear that out in no time. Uh, checked my phone a minute ago, the heat index is like 99. It's like, oh good, it's still below 100. So, I just want everybody to get to be able to look at what's back here, uh, see what's here. Um, try to walk over here. It's a lot nicer over here, shady. Uh, that post right there is my property line. And that fence running behind my tractor lawn tractor lawn mower uh the fence running right there is my property line going down the hill that's what it looks like behind my property it's beautiful and you go down in the woods down there uh following the fence line it looks pretty much like that it gets a little rough down in there in spots but it's pretty nice just want to give you a look i'm sitting here enjoying this shady spot It's nice. I should have brought iced tea instead of coffee. I got iced tea over in the truck. But it's probably about 100 yards that way. So I'm going to sit here in the shade and drink coffee. Something kind of surprised me the other day. I, I, I imparted my great wisdom, you know. My great wisdom was if you want to be on a good spiritual path, you only have to do one thing, the next right thing. And then I did dishes for a while. Because it was the next right thing to do. Uh, don't really consider that great wisdom, but uh, <laughs> that actually got a few comments from people. I think that's funny. Uh, and I've had a couple people tell me that I need to do more of that. I don't think I have any great wisdom. But today, I, I do want to talk about uh, the most recent wisdom that uh, kind of struck my brain. And I stole it. This is a steal. Blatant. Blayton. I'm stealing the whole thing. Uh, but it was something I was listening to a lecture by Joel Salison. And he's the one who said it. Uh, all my life I've been taught that if a thing ain't worth doing right, it ain't doing. And Joel Salison said if a thing ain't worth doing wrong, it ain't worth doing. That sounds kind of stupid when you just say it like that. But then he used the example of if you've got a, a child, baby, uh, who's just learning to stand up and walk. Uh, child grabs hold of the couch, stands up, holds itself there for a minute, lets go, takes a step, falls on its butt. And of course, everybody goes, well, you should just quit, give up. You know, you're no good at that. Just sit there, don't worry about it. Well, that's not what we do. You know, we congratulate them on the fact that they stood up. We congratulate them on that one step before they <laughs> fell on their nose. You know, after you get done laughing at them. You gotta laugh at them. And how that works uh, with what I'm planning to do. You know, I'm gonna be doing some homesteading. Well, let's be honest. In a lot of ways, I don't know what I'm doing. I've been around farms my whole life. Uh, I've also worked in offices. I've done the uh, eight by eight gray cubicle. And I am not made for that. Oh, I hate that. Best money I ever made in my life, sitting in an 8x8 eight eight gray cubicle. Ugh. Makes me insane. Um, I'd much rather be poor and doing this, as long as I got enough food to eat. Place to sleep, I'm pretty much good. Not sure my wife agrees with it being that limited, but still. And I'm going to screw stuff up. I promise I am. Uh, hopefully I don't kill any animals by screwing up but I've never raised chickens. 
Uh, I've never raised sheep. Uh, I have killed, butchered, uh, all that stuff. Plan to get a couple cows. Well, I've never butchered a cow. Never, I mean, I've been around them. I've milked them. Somebody else raised them. Somebody else paid the vet bills. Somebody else gave them all the medicines and all that stuff. And I'm wanting to do it without the medicine. So, you know, a lot of that stuff that I learned is kind of useless. Bring in a calf. That's not useless. I've <sighs> done that a lot. That's a fun afternoon, let me tell you. Uh, but anyway, I guess my point is, this is worth doing. And I'm going to do it wrong. And it's going to be a journey. And I guess one of my things here is uh, wanting everybody who's looking at these videos to be able to learn from my screw-ups. You know, I've been watching some other people doing some videos, and they've been screwing up. Uh, watched Justin Rhodes kill some sheep here a while back. And while uh, they got all touchy-feely cry, you know, I understand you get attached to a critter, and then it dies, or you kill it or something. And it's a sad time, but I guess in my way of thinking, you go somewhere else, you take your moment, then you come back. But that's me. Uh, flip side of that is it was good to watch him screw that up. Because, you know, he talks about it, talks about what he did. And like I said, I hope I don't kill any critters. But if I screw up, if I kill critters, we're going to talk about it. We're going to see what we can learn and move on. So, that's got a lot to do with my goals. And that's my great wisdom for today. Something I learned ah, probably a couple months ago listening to uh, Joel Salison give a lecture. If it ain't worth doing wrong, it ain't worth doing. It's kind of changed my philosophy of life. So, we're going to do it wrong. We're going to do it anyway. And hopefully we all learn something. Hopefully you all enjoy this. Anyway, that's my great wisdom for today. The rest of my day is going to be spent mowing. I still got about another, uh, probably four acres to mow. <sighs> and I'm just enjoying the heat. So this may be the end of my video for today. I kind of babbled on there for a minute. Hope I didn't sound like too big an idiot. And like I said, if it sounds like something you'd be interested in, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell. We'll talk about it every day. Uh, I apologize because uh, I did not put up a video Saturday. I got, uh, <laughs> I've got two cameras. And apparently when you take the uh, uh, data card out of a GoPro and you stick it in a Canon camera, they don't like each other. And I did a whole lot of video and it just got lost. It's just gone. There's nothing there. So... Nothing's coming out for Saturday. Got Friday races. Today, today's to do with homesteading, even if it is mowing. Anyway, this is Mark. I'm just some old Kentucky homesteader. I hope you all have an excellent day. I hope you enjoyed this video. At least it's got kids in it today. Love the grandkids. Love the grandkids. Enjoyed my morning. And I hope you all have as wonderful a, a day as I had morning. Come back and see us. Hmm. Kind of getting a little pace, peaceful. Blah, 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 blah. Screw this video. This video sucks. But, uh, blah, 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 blah. we're just going to start over. I hate doing it. And, uh, but at least I think I'm shaking. Blah, 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 blah. But, and, ah, quit saying but. But, but, but. Mm. Could have centered that a little better. I think we will. Uh, so, I'm sitting here enjoying this Sadie, uh, Sadie spot. Start over. Click. <laughs>